Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is going to be a, uh, we have an equation. We're going to complete the table, and we're going to complete the graph. So, I have my equation of y equals 3 fourths x. So my constant proportionality is 3 fourths, or 3 over 4. That means I'm going over 3 and up 4. So if I set up my equation here, I have 3 fourths times 0 equals 0. So my point's going to be 0, 0. My next point is going to be 3 fourths times 4 over 1. So 3 fourths times 4 over 1 is going to be equal 12 over 4, which equals 3. So now this point is over 4 and up 3. Over 4, up 3. My next point is going to be 3 fourths times 8 over 1. That's going to give me 24 over 4, and that simplifies to 6. So we go over 8, up 6, we put our point. Then we have 3 fourths times 12 over 1. It's going to be 36 over 4. Simplified is going to give you 9. So my next point is over 12 and up to 9. And then my last point is 3 fourths times 16 over 1. It's going to give you 48 over 4, which simplifies to 12. So we go over 16, up 12. Now, I realize that Mr. Raver's graph has it perfect, but that's going to be a straight line. Okay? We'll put our dots on there. So my constant proportionality was 3 fourths. I took 3 fourths times each of the x's, and you can see that right here. And then I got my output, which was y. So then 0, 0, 4, 3, 8, 6, 6, 12, 9, and 16, and 12. And those are our points. So that's one of the problems that you could do. And I'm going to go ahead and do one of the problems uh, from the homework or just another problem. And again, if you need to take a look at different things and stop it, then go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do this equation, which is going to be y equals 1 fourth x. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And we're going to do same same numbers, uh, 0, 4, 8, 12, 16. So over here, we're going to have 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16. So we're going to do um, 1 fourth times 0 is going to be 0. So that's my point right here. Then we're going to do 1 fourth times 4. That's going to equal 1. So we're going to go over 4 and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So over 4, up 1. Then we're going to do 1 fourth times 8 over 1. We're going to get 8 over 4, and that's going to equal 2. So go over 4, over 8, up 2. That's our point. Then we're going to do 1 fourth times 12 over 1. It's going to give you 12 over 4. And that's going to be 3. Let's go over 12, up 3, and then 1 fourth times 16 over 1 is going to give you 16 over 4, or 4. Okay? So that's over 16, up 4, and that's my graph. Again, I don't have things set up uh, with a graph, but that's how you do those. That's how you do those couple of problems, okay? Um, and I feel like that should help you with homework and get you all situated.